retinopathy occurs when the blood vessels to the retina um, become blocked. The retina sits in the back of the eye and is where our vision begins. Our body tries to supply blood to any organ any way possible. So it tries to find new ways to do this when a vessel becomes blocked, which can lead to blindness or detachment of the retina. is one of the leading causes of blindness in the United States, but it is the leading cause of blindness in people who are aged 25 to 60. We know that over 60% of our diabetics will have an eventual diagnosis of diabetic retinopathy. diabetes and uncontrolled blood sugars affect the vasculature all over our bodies and cause significant damage. Our smallest vessels are at the highest risk for this damage, which is especially true for the vessels in the back of the eye. This disease is not a catastrophic event, it is progressive. The longer a patient has uncontrolled blood sugars, the higher their risk is for diabetic retinopathy. Patients with diabetes are recommended to get checked yearly with a comprehensive diabetic eye exam. Diabetics are also at higher risk for other diseases that affect the eye, such as glaucoma and cataracts. Some of our primary care offices here at Christiana Care offer retinal screenings in the office. These are effective tools to screen for diabetic retinopathy, but should not replace the comprehensive eye exam because these retinal cameras do not screen for any of the other diseases. The first and probably most important is developing a healthy lifestyle, which includes eating well and exercising on a regular basis. The other modality that we use to help our patients control their blood sugars is with the use of medication. So we usually recommend our diabetic patients see their primary care physician at least twice a year. As a family physician, I think it's very important to get that one-on-one -on -one contact with my patients to make sure that they're staying on track with lifestyle changes, they're taking their medications appropriately, or there's not something else that's going on that could be contributing to their diabetes not being under control. It also allows me to talk about any social issues that might be impacting their disease, and even give them the option of meeting with our behavioral health consultant to identify behaviors that might be impacting their diabetes.